be showing us today? I'm going to show you some really great tips to help you improve your photography and selling your product on eBay. Fantastic. Let's get started. Good photography is all in the preparation. Get the setup right and you'll find it very hard to take bad pictures. Most of us have a high resolution camera with us at all times, be it a smartphone, compact flash camera, or a DSLR. Don't forget, there's a camera option within the eBay app as well. With your camera, make sure you have the resolution of the file set correctly. On the back, you'll find the option to change the file size. For eBay, it's best to use a one meg file, which you use then as a JPEG. Try to find a place that's got great natural light when you're shooting your product. Using a flash is not going to be great. You're going to get reflections, you're going to get shadows behind your product. For smaller items, you can create your own light box. Here I've put together a very simple um, backdrop to use. This one is made from a free piece of paper and a cardboard box. Basically, all you need to do is make a little bit of a curve, take it to the nearest window using that natural light that we talked about before, putting your product right in the center, and then as you angle it around in the light, you can reduce the shadow, and then shooting straight on, you should get that perfect image. You can also use a small tripod to photograph your small products. Very handy to keep it nice and stable and a level shot, so you get a nice straight horizon. This one, you got on eBay for less than $5. What a bargain. In the next video, we'll look at styling itself, focusing on three different items.